be, for instance, usually is, a, is a, 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 an organic co compound. But let's, for instance, consider, it's not the case, but let's, for instance, consider that we have uh, something like this. <coughs> Okay? So, and suppose, it's not the case again, and suppose that this reaction happens at 4 volts, okay? <coughs> if the voltage of uh, the cell will go to 4 volts, instead of uh, decomposing the electrolyte, it may run this reaction. That then we stop the growing of the voltage. And this is, um, of course, uh, not destructive, because you see here, if, if we take again uh, that uh, example, <coughs> at this electrode, <coughs> we will have, uh, uh, sorry, I made a mistake. Okay. At uh, the negative electrode, we will have the reduction, but at the positive electrode, we, we have just the opposite. Okay? So this uh, protecting mechanism maybe is the best, because you, ha you add something inside the battery, and this something protects the battery, but is not, not, is not consumed. In this other case, instead, you may have a situation, ah, here is, uh, is indicated the reaction. Sorry, I didn't realize that. <coughs> Some organic material. So here, instead, what will happen, that uh, <coughs> you will have uh, <coughs> at, the, at the negative electron reduction, for instance, of uh, <coughs> some hydrogen reduction. So hydrogen will be evolved. And on the, other, on the other, you have some oxidation. So in this case, you decompose, you consume your shuttle uh, <coughs> uh, uh, <coughs> component. And uh, this is not a good idea, though, because you form some hydrogen here, which may be also very dangerous, and some other material. So the best shuttle are these ones. And these are widely used now in uh, practical batteries. Now, how can we uh, operate here? You re I rem remember that remember that the ohmic of our voltage. And we don't want like we don't want to have ohmic over voltage because this reduced the voltage of the cell is equal <coughs> to the product of the current and resistance, which is then equal to current versus resistivity, and uh, <coughs> L is the distance of the electrode and S is the surface. So, to reduce this, we have to reduce this. But we cannot put two electrodes in contact because this creates some short circuit. So, what we do, we have a, a negative electrode, a positive electrode, oops, <coughs> very close together. This can be, for instance, graphite, and this for, can be, for instance, lithium cobalt oxide, okay? <coughs> but to avoid this, so this will be L. From here to here. So very, very, very low, very little distance. But to avoid that this happens, we will put inside here 
ese Pareto. Okay? And you see from this uh, Images that the separato is usually felt with a lot of pores. So we have this type, large pore, small pore, whatever. <coughs> so you will have this which is a felt, and the liquid electrolyte is embedded into these pores. <coughs> you see that the most of uh, these uh, slides have been taken from this encyclopedia which has been already very recently issued. I think maybe your library have bought it. You have a lot of information there. <clears throat> okay, let's see what are the pros and cons of uh, this uh, type of electrolyte. <clears throat> made of lithium salt in mixture of aprotic solvents. I show you that the, the good part are the very high ionic conductivity of a wide temperature range. Remember that we can go from plus 80 degrees down to minus 35. And these are liquid, so easy to handle a liquid for battery manufacturing. <coughs> but they have uh, sometimes a limited stability domain and uh, to make a battery working there are some decomposition of this electrolyte at the beginning to forming the protecting solid electrolyte interface. So we, we may have sensitivity issues here. These are, uh, most of these uh, materials are, are uh, hydroscopic. And this is bad, because if they get some water, there is their reaction with the LIPF6, with the formation of uh, HF, which are destroying the battery. So you must be very careful when you handle this uh, electrolyte. In the laboratory, you have to use a dry box. In the production of the battery, you have to use uh, a dry room. A dry room is a, is a room like this one where the, the, the <clears throat> humidity level is about 2%. Okay? This is enough to handle lithium. And <clears throat> and, but even in dry room, to be sure they not to have uh, <clears throat> water in the electrolyte, usually the electrolyte addition it occurs in a very high in even drier situation. Some manufacturers even have a dry box within the dry room where they, or maybe a vacuum chamber, where they, they put the electrolyte. Nevertheless, there's, there have been, there's been few accidents in uh, battery producing manufacturing. If you go to internet, you will see there are few of them. Uh, not, not, not two or three. A, 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 a large number. So this, this is the most delicate step. <coughs> and of course, uh, the water is uh, connected with as LIP, as I told you. Now let's see what we can now do for the next stage. It would be obviously very useful to replace the liquid electrolyte with a polymer. Beca why? Because um, for several reasons. The polymer, of course, is um, not, well, uh, theoretically is a solid, so you don't have a spilling of liquid. You don't need a separator anymore because this is the separator, the membrane itself. For instance, you see this membrane, instead of using the separator, you, you, you interpose this between the positive and the negative electrode. <coughs> and also, <coughs> since the electrodes are formed on uh, are deposit on very thin current collector, for instance, the anode, say graphite, is a very thin film, about maybe 100 microns, maybe less, 
on uh, <coughs> no maybe less 50 micron on a, a copper substrate about 10 microns so this when you have this film this film is flexible okay the same thing happens at a negative at a positive electrode lithium cobalt oxide where you deposit uh, the electrode on a very thin aluminum substrate which is also flexible so if you have now a polymer inside as a, as a separator which is flexible you can prepare a plastic battery namely a battery can be folded uh, <coughs> prepared in uh, <coughs> in different shapes and particularly can be very thin <coughs> I think in all the batteries <coughs> which are used in iPods using a polymer and you have two types of polymer one the, the, they are used now commercially are the so-called gel polymer electrolyte these are not really polymers but hybrids in the sense that uh, they, they, are, uh, they are formed by a polymer matrix mostly uh, polyvilidane fluoride PVDF okay and this polymer matrix contains the standard liquid solution so this is not a liquid because the liquid is inside the polymer cage it's not the polymer because there's some liquid so it is an hybrid system and you can prepare this however in various uh, <coughs> configuration and you see that the appearance is typical of plastic because the liquid is contained inside you see here some uh, sketch this uh, here the green is the liquid where uh, for instance uh, this can be lithium solvated this can be PF6 and you see that here we have uh, the backbone of the polymer so by jellification you what you do you have uh, a, sit a, a situation where you have uh, a polymer container okay which contains some liquid like a polymer box with liquid inside <clears throat> so the, mo the conductivity here is uh, still that of the liquid a little bit less still that of the liquid so it's very high but there are some uh, uh, <coughs> the appear appearance is that of the polymer because you have this outside okay however there are obviously some pores and one of the problem of this electrolyte of course is that some of the liquid goes away okay and then you lose conductivity and you see here the conductivity of this uh, typical gel polymer electrolytes GPAs, GPEs, GPEs and here is the conductivity at room temperature so we have four millisiemens it's very similar to that of the liquid and here is the conductivity versus temperature and the conductivity is good up to zero degrees but not so good at uh, minus degrees but nevertheless <coughs> if you are now taking the room temperature the conductivity is pretty good this is the reason why this gel electrolytes now are used practically for practical batteries 